Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Time Marco Chain Lecture 7 Reducible Marco Chain. The last three lectures we have discussed irreducible Marco Chain, and this lecture we are going to discuss reducible Marco Chain. So, in this lecture, I am going to start with the concept of a reducible Marco Chain, then I am going to give the different types of a reducible Marco Chain. And also I am going to present some simple examples. Then finally, one important uh, application of reducible Marco chain that is a gambler's ruin chain problem, gambler's ruin problem going to be discussed. Before we discuss the reducible Marco chain, let me explain the close communicating class of states. This is uh, this definition we have already given in the few lectures earlier also. Again, I am giving using this, we are going to conclude the Marco chain is a reducible Marco chain or irreducible Marco chain. The closed communicating class, suppose you collect the uh, set of states that you name it uh, label with a C, if that collection of or set of states is going to be called it as a closed communicating class of states, if uh, it satisfies no such state outside C can be reached from any state in C, then C is said to be close communicating class of states. If uh, in a set of uh, states forming a close communicating class and it has only one element, only one st state, you cannot include one more state so that it is going to be a close communicating class of states, then that class is a uh, in that class, the state is going to be called it as a observing state. And you know the definition of observing state, that means the one step transition probability i to i that is equal to 1. So, there are two ways you can have a observing state, either p i a is equal to 1 or the closed communicating class has only one element, then that state is going to be observing state. So, using a closed communicating class, of states we are going to distinguish or we are going to make the reducible Marco chain and irreducible Marco chain. How? Let me see the definition of a irreducible Marco chain. If the Marco chain does not contain any other closed communicating class of states other than the state space S, yes, then the Marco chain is called a irreducible Marco chain. Otherwise, it is a reducible Marco chain. That means, uh, you have a Marco chain with the state space capital S. You are trying to create the close communicating class. If that class and the state space S both are one and the same, that means uh, all the states are going to form a one close communicating class. That means, each state is communicating with each other state and that is same as the state space, then that Marco chain is a irreducible Marco chain. Otherwise, that Marco chain is going to be called it as a reducible Marco chain. Before we go to the various reducible Marco chain, I am going to give few examples. So, through this example, we can make the classification over the reducible Marco chain. You see the first example, it has uh, 5 states, instead of the one step transition probability matrix, I have drawn the state transition diagram. So, using this you can easily able to conclude whether it is going to be a reducible Marco chain or irreducible Marco chain. If you see the arc from 3 to 1 and uh, the states 0, 1 and 2 all 3 are connected, 
Therefore, you can conclude 0, 1 and 2 is going to form a close communicating class because uh, all the states inside that class are communicating each other. There is no state going away from this, this collection to outside. It satisfies the close communicating class uh, definition. Whereas, the 3 and 4 even though there is a communication between 3 and 4 states, once the system goes from 3 to 1 it would not be back. Therefore, the states 3 and 4 are going to be transient states. The first visit if you find out F i i capital F i i i for a state 3 and 4, it is going to be less than 1, whatever be the probability. Here I have not assigned the probability, you can assign the probability positive uh, 0 to 1 and uh, you will get the conclusion the states 3 and 4 are going to be the transient states. So, since it satisfies the definition of a reducible Markov chain that means, uh, you have a close communicating class which is other than the state space. That means, uh, you have a close communicating class with the fewer elements than the state space. 0, 1 and 2 and a few transient states. Therefore, this Markov chain has a reducible Markov chain of some type I am going to discuss later. See the second example. This also has the 5 states. If you observe, you will conclude the states 0, 1 and 2 are going to be the transient states. Whereas, the state 3 as well as 4 are going to form a two different close communicating class, but it consists of only one element in it, only one state in it. You cannot include the state 1 along with 3 or you cannot include the state 2 along with 4 to create a close communicating class. Therefore, the states 3 and 4 will form a close communicating class with one single state in each in it respectively and these three these two states are uh, observing states also. So, this is also going to form a reducible Markov chain. See the third example, this has uh, 3 plus 3 6 states out of 6 states there is no backward arc to the states to the state 3. Therefore, state 3 will will be a transient state whereas, a state states 0, 1 and 2 form a close communicating class. Similarly, the states 4 and 5 will form a close another close communicating class of states. So, in the third example, we have a two close communicating classes of states, whereas the first example you have one close communicating class and transient states. You see that all these three examples, you have a collection of transient states and close communicating class either one or many or the close communicating class consists of only one element. But uh, all the states, uh, all the model has the uh, fewer transient states. Therefore, you can easily find out the reducible Markov chain whenever it is uh, not going to form a uh, only one close communicating class with all the states. If that is not there, then all other things are going to be the ir or on and all other things are going to be a reducible Markov chain. So, based on these three examples. There are some more example I can create with the infinite state, but here I have not made it. But based on these three examples, you can have some idea how one can have a various types of reducible Markov chain. I am listing here in these the default is all the types as the few transient states, along with that it has a one close communicating class of states 
that is a one type. One or more absorbing states that is similar to the example 2, the first one is similar to the first example. The third one is with more than one closed communicating class of states that is related to the third example. But uh, here I have not specified whether it is a finite state or infinite state uh, Marco chain. So, immaterial of that the reducible Marco chain can be classified into these three in general. So, we are going to discuss uh, out of these three the first two we are going to discuss in detail and the third I am not going to discuss. So, the way we are discussing the first model the similar logic can be used to study the third type also. The first type it is a reducible Marco chain that means uh, it has the fewer transient states and uh, one close communicating class. My interest is to study the stationary distribution. Therefore, I am making further assumption so that uh, I can go for studying the stationary distribution. For that I am making the first assumption it is a finite state model, state space is finite and also this model state space has the one close communicating class and the set of transient states. So, whatever the states in the close communicating class that state I am making at a, a periodic. A periodic is important to study the stationary distribution therefore, I am making the a periodicity. So, this state space is the collection of uh, the transient states as well as one close communicating class. Therefore, I am making a two notation C and T, C for the set of close communicating class only one, the T is set of all transient states. Therefore, the state space S is going to be the C union capital T. Since uh, it has one close communicating class and set of transient states, I am reordering the one step transition probability matrix such a way that the first few rows are corresponding to the states of the close communicating class. Therefore, I make it a C, but inside suppose uh, uh, the state space then a uh, number of uh, states in this uh, reducible Marco chain is capital N, there is a possibility some fewer elements, fewer states may be in the capital C. Therefore, fewer rows that will make a sub matrix that is P 1. That means, a C to C that sub matrix is a one step transition probability sub matrix is P 1. Whereas, a, the one step transition probability going from close communicating class that states to the transient states that probability is 0. Therefore, all the entities are 0 therefore, this 0 is nothing but a, a matrix sub matrix with the number of rows is uh, number of uh, states in the close communicating class and the number of column that is same as the number of uh, transient states. This is the way we reorder the one step transition probability matrix. Therefore, C to capital T that is a sub matrix of zeros. The remaining elements are capital T that you reorder it in the other remaining rows. Therefore, T to C will be a some non-zero fewer elements that is a R1 matrix, R1 sub matrix. And similarly, T to T there is possibility of uh, possibilities therefore, the probabilities may be greater or equal to 0. Therefore, that matrix is a Q matrix. Therefore, the whole P matrix is a divided partition into 4 sub matrices P1, 0 matrix, R1 and Q matrix. Since it is a 0 matrix, entries of zeros. Therefore, this P 1 is also going to be a stochastic matrix. The row sum is going to be 1 and the entities are greater or equal to 0 lies between 0 to 1. So, these values are this ma sub matrix will form a stochastic. This is called a stochastic sub matrix. That means, uh, I am just reordering this uh, P matrix uh, that labeling the states such a way that first time collecting all the states corresponding to the closed communicating class of states then 
set of transient states and this form is called the canonical form. For a reducible Markov chain this canonical form is very important because uh, once you are able to make a canonical form then you can study the stationary distribution in a easy way.